Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. A man wielding a rifle and who appeared to be under the influence was killed after he was shot by police in North Las Vegas Saturday night. Officers responded around 10.15 p.m. to the 4300 block of Westmere Avenue to reports of a man carrying what appeared to be a long metal pole in the backyard of a home. He looked as if he was trying to break into the house, according to police. The suspect sustained one gunshot wound and was pronounced dead at University Medical Center. Visit LVRJ.com for more updates. The Clark County School District reported that fewer students are receiving failing grades and more are receiving A's. That update comes more than a year after the district changed its grading policy to allow students to revise assignments and retake tests. Behavior was also excluded from final grades. Those who oppose the changes say that the new grading guidelines would lower standards for students. The district's director of assessment, Rebecca Meyer, says students deserve a shift from traditional grading to a model that will focus on their learning and mastery of a subject. A ban on a device used in the deadliest mass shooting in American history is returning back to the courts. The October 1st shooting gunman used a bump stock to increase the rate of fire during the shooting, and now survivors are speaking out against the potential reversal. Review Journal's James Schaefer has more. As the fifth anniversary approaches for the October 1 shooting, a regulation that banned the bump stock component used from the mass shooting is being appealed by a civil rights group to be reversed. The nonpartisan civil rights group New Civil Liberties Alliance is saying the decision should be legislative instead of federal. So if they do get a ruling that's favorable in the Fifth Circuit, the likelihood that the Supreme Court would come in is greater. Back in 2019, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives issued the regulation that outlawed the bump stock. The potential of a reversal, however, has brought back memories for survivors of the Las Vegas mass shooting, like that of Heather Goose, who has said, quote, there is only one reason you would really need a bump stock, and that's to do a mass shooting. I hate that it has become so political. It's a humanity issue. Under the current ban, owners of bump stocks must destroy the devices or turn them in to law enforcement or face felony charges. A decision on the ban is expected in three to six months from the Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals. Slain Las Vegas Review Journal investigative reporter Jeff Gehrman won Podcast of the Year at Saturday's Nevada Press Foundation Awards, the state's most prestigious contest for digital and print journalism. The award, shared with Review Journal's Senior Technical Director of Digital, Larry Meir, was presented for Season 2 of the true crime podcast Mobbed Up, The Fight for Las Vegas, and comes three weeks after Gehrman was found stabbed to death outside of his home. Gehrman was also recognized by a proclamation from Governor Sisolak, who named Saturday a day in honor of Gehrman. The Review Journal also swept every top individual and institutional award in the Urban Division. Visit LVRJ.com to discover more Review Journal award winners. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, Boulder City received a $2.2 million grant from the U.S. Commerce Department. The grant will enable bus tour company National Park Express to operate inexpensive transportation from Las Vegas resorts to the Boulder City Adventure Center, which is expected to be built at the relocated Boulder City Chamber of Commerce building. And sometimes $3.60 can get you more than a cup of coffee. On Friday, a guest at the Westgate won $400,000 on a Timberwolf slot machine with a 360 bet. The winner has been a part of the casino's reward program since 2003, and the jackpot was one of many this week. Now for your weather report, brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Happy Monday, everyone. Sunny and clear conditions are forecasted for the valley. Today's highs reaching around 99 degrees with light winds. Evening lows around 76 degrees. For the rest of the week, similar conditions until Wednesday where we could see some isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Daytime highs will stay in the upper 90s this week. Evening lows staying in the mid to upper 70s. Vegas Nation, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the mobile app today. The Raiders are off to an 0-3 start after a 24-22 loss to the Tennessee Titans here in Nashville. Here's what tight end Darren Waller had to say about how the team can regroup. Results aren't going on right now. That doesn't mean that we 
you know, go about the process any differently. We still show up to work. We still try to do the best that we can. And, uh, you know, you, you bounce back. I mean, it's, it's adversity. It's nothing new to me. It's nothing new to guys in this locker room. So you just got to find a way to work through it and just stack good data on top of each other. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Nevada will soon receive $16 million in federal funding to fight the opioid crisis that has caused thousands of deaths in the state. The funds provided through the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration will expand school-based prevention programs, overdose education, and opioid antagonist distribution. From 2010 to 2020, Nevada saw about 4,600 opioid-related overdose deaths, according to the Nevada Department of Health and Human Services. Sports, sponsored by DNR House of Diamond, making luxury affordable, located in downtown Summerlin. UNLV defeated reigning Mountain West champion Utah State 34-24 on Saturday in the team's conference opener, improving their record to 3-1 for the first time since 2008. UNLV's defense forced six turnovers by Utah State quarterback Logan Bonner, including five interceptions. UNLV quarterback Doug Brumfield completed 21 of 31 passes for 217 yards and also ran for two scores. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. A rare double backdoor cover took place at the end of the Oregon-Washington State game on Saturday. A late interception return for a touchdown by Ducks linebacker Mace Funa put Oregon ahead 44-34, temporarily covering. However, Washington State betters ended up on the right side of the spread after running back Nikia Watson scored with one second left to get the cover in a 44-41 loss. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Best Mattress, Best Service, Best Selection, Best Price Guaranteed, Grammy Award winning rapper Daryl McDaniels, also known as DMC, visited Wendell Williams Elementary School in Las Vegas. He went there to speak with students about chasing their dreams and dealing with bullies. So what I, all I am doing is reinforcing what the educators and the parents are telling the kids. So they need healthy minds and healthy bodies. But more importantly, our children need to enjoy learning. He also talked about his new children's book, Daryl's Dreams, which was inspired by his childhood. According to CCSD, McDaniels is donating one of his books to every elementary school in the district. And Imagine Dragons raised $3.5 million at Friday night's Tyler Robinson Foundation event. That's a record for the organization in its first event at Resorts World Las Vegas. Comic actor Joel McHale hosted the sellout event, which drew more than 750 guests, also an all-time high for the annual gala. Wayne Newton served as this year's event chair, joined by 2019 chair Shaquille O'Neal. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerhour. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.